goodness. Okay, so we're going live here in just a moment and we're going to meet everyone. Thank you for joining us, tuning in, tapping in, turning on to Love and Money Secrets TV. We are going to talk a little bit today about how to connect with your angel guides. And I uh, am just excited to share with you. I've had some revelations and some encouragements from the angels and um, from a third party who really didn't even know anything about um, this process that was revealed to me in meditation not very long ago. And so I want to share with you uh, uh, a method that has just recently come onto my awareness of how you can actually connect to your angel spirit guides and how this can be a very useful tool for you to be able to reveal what is not only presently going on from a bigger eagle's eye perspective that the angels will um, you know, express to you, but also what's moving forward in the future as things are unfolding uh, in your future, it'll also reveal certain things to you as well. So let me explain to you, first of all, exactly, you know, my story and how this was revealed to me. So uh, it was uh, just a few months ago, I was, you know, I meditate every day, and uh, I'm constantly talking to my angels and and, you know, you know, I, I really believe and feel that I'm one with the one and I am one and I'm, you know, connecting with the creator. And I'm always asking for signs. And I'm really asking always for my spiritual senses to be increased and heightened for the greater good of all. And so that it is not just something that I benefit from, but that the greater good of all is also included. And so as I was doing this particular meditation, in the meditation, there were this particular one, I was had like a just a waterfall of things that were revealed to me in that particular meditation. But one, one of the things, one and I am one and I'm, you know, connecting with the crew. Uh oh, it looks like the YouTube. I don't know why the sound would turn on because I do have it on mute, but we'll go ahead and move forward here again. So nonetheless, uh, as I was saying, so the thing that was revealed to me as I had, it was like one thing after the other that was revealed to me. One of the things that was revealed to me was that just that I could, in a sense, interpret and receive guidance from the angelic realm by looking at regular images and pictures that are in your, uh, let's say in your cell phone. And that's what I saw. And, uh, and I thought to myself, well, how could that be? And, uh, you know, what, what do you mean? And so what was, so I asked, so what do you mean? Do you mean that I just look at somebody's like cell phone gallery and by looking at the cell phone gallery, I'll be able to somehow read these cards or I don't really get, I don't understand. And then they said, well, just like, you know, angel card, oracle readers, as they're able to read and interpret and get divine guidance in that manner, that you can also do the same thing with pictures that people hand select because their subconscious mind, the angels are actually speaking to the person at a subconscious level. So the person will actually select. And it was very curious because they said they will pick either 918 or 20, there's 918 or 27 cards. And I said, nine, eight, those are kind of random numbers, 918 or 27. Uh, not cards, nine, 18 or 27 images or pictures that are stored in their cell phones. So I said, how am I supposed to remember those numbers? Nine, 18 or 27. So I said, okay, well, I don't want to, you know, get too hung up with those numbers, but I said, um, so what do you mean? So somebody's just picks the first nine, you know, whatever combination of nine, 18 or 27 images that are stored on their cell phone that they've taken and that by them providing that to me, I'll be able to, you know, re read basically the vibrational frequency of that. And they said, exactly. So I didn't have any other further instruction other than that, but I thought, wow, that sounds pretty cool, pretty exciting. But I didn't really know what I was supposed to do with that information other than at that point, it was just a revelation. So then the next day, uh, 
as it as you know luck would have it i happened to t i told this to somebody and as i was talking to her i said listen this was revealed to me yesterday and uh, you know to which they immediately said well oh gosh i would love to do that and i said really i said okay well then send me nine just let's i go i really don't know what i'm doing so there's let's just send me nine pictures just go through your cell phone gallery and whatever nine pictures that you feel um, inclined to share with me, just text them to me. I have no idea how long this is going to take. I don't know what the process is. So just, just text them to me and, and we'll see how long this takes. So she went ahead and she sent them to me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the pictures that she sent me. So you'll see that she sent me, these are the images that she sent me. And so, okay, so long story short, I received the pictures. So then I sat down and as I sat down, I told the angels, I said, okay, well, reveal to me whatever it is that needs to be revealed here because, um, you know, you've only revealed to me a limited amount of information. So I sat down, I had my cell phone open, I was looking at the pictures and then I took out a pet pad of paper, basically, you know, eight by 10 legal pad. And I just started to look very keenly. I looked all of, at all of the pictures and then I reviewed the first one and started to really look closely and just really not think it was more that I was receiving. And um, there was a certain, uh, it was like a certain energy frequency uh, that I was sensing as I was looking at the pictures. And then I would have either other images that would come into my mind, or I would have sometimes phrases or sometimes a particular feeling. So as I started to just start to take note of that, I went picture by picture by picture and whatever in a stream of consciousness, I started to write down and basically receive those downloads. And so as I finished that, I was really uh, amazed at how much came out of it. It seems like instead of my seeing the pictures the way you and I normally look at the pictures, I was kind of looking at the pictures almost from a different awareness where it almost felt like it wasn't me looking, looking at the pictures. And it was just a, a different state of awareness in which I was looking at the pictures and then receiving this information. So I went ahead and I don't remember right now how long it took me to go through the whole process, but it, it was... Um, it was an interesting process to say the least. So I then went to her and revealed the findings. And then she was really quite, she's like, oh my gosh, this is so spot on. This is like remarkable. This makes so much sense. That's exactly how I'm feeling. And I can totally see how that's, that's what's forthcoming. And then she wanted to keep the notes, but of course my notes on the legal pad were kind of skip, you know, chicken scratch and we're not definitely wasn't even easy for me to read. Cause I just, you know, was writing very quickly in a stream of consciousness. So the other thing is, as I was, as I began to write, one of the things that was re also revealed to me, it's like, okay, what am I going to, don't, I don't even know why I asked this, but I said, you know, what would I even call this process? And then the thing that popped into my head was photometanosis. And I said, photometanosis, photometanosis. Never heard of that before. Photometanosis, photo pictures, meta, like metaphysics. I'm like, okay. And then gnosis, knowledge. I'm like, oh, photo pictures, meta, metaphysics, gnosis, knowledge, photo metaphysics, knowledge. I get it. I'm like, wow, that is pretty cool. So I immediately wrote that down. So then I basically told her, I go, you know what, let me just write this up for you and then I'll hand it in to you. So initially I was just gonna, you know, open up pages or a Word document and just type it out. And then I was inspired to actually insert the pictures and kind of put together a report. So this is actually the report that I ended up putting together for her. And there's like three of the pictures that she had sent to me. And basically I went through and, and so this is one of the things that I can provide for you is I go through each image and then I tell you what it means. And in this, with this particular um, expression, they actually gave me percentages, which I thought was 
really uncanny because um, like, wow, like for example, you know, the first image here, you have two dogs, you have a white dog and a black dog. And in, for this particular, I'll just, I'm not gonna go through each and every one of these, but it'll give you an idea. The first one was 60 66% yin yang, night and day. You're surprised at the elements and aspects of your life which express such polarity. How can one space and time be so good, feel so right, peaceful, loving, familiar? This is how life is supposed to be. And in 33%, another space, this is just so effed up. It's not supposed to be this way. So that's what I got from the first image that, that she had provided. Again, I don't wanna go through and, and uh, share her particular personal report, but it kind of gives you an idea of the type of information. It can be very specific as in with this first image, it, it actually revealed percentages of 66 and 33%, which add up to 99%. I don't know why it doesn't add up to 100%. I don't know. Like I said, those were those were the revelations that came to me. So photometanosis, in short, is basically you select nine, 18, or up to 27. I would say right now I'm going to keep it to nine, no more than 18. You know, that's a much bigger report to do an 18 image report. But you can do either nine or 18 images that you select of pictures that you have actually taken yourself from your cell phone. And then you would text those to me, at which point then I would review those. And I would, after obviously getting into a meditative state, then I would receive the information that's supposed to be revealed to you that shows you not only what's going on right now from a larger perspective, it's uh, basically a state of being where you're in a greater awareness. So you are kind of more of an eagle's eye view of what's going on with you. And then also within that same eagle's eye view, you're also getting a snapshot and revelations. Some insight is being gleaned upon you that is going to reveal to you, okay, what's, what's moving forward, some of the things that you can expect. So I think this is um, a very, uh, very fun and exciting thing to have at our disposal. I uh, am finally coming forward with this more on a public basis because I actually was encouraged by somebody who I actually don't know at all. Um, and they basically told me without really know. they told me all sorts of different things about myself that, um, you know, there's no way they could have known this other than I, I, I was keenly aware that they were tapping into that realm of the divine and the Holy Spirit was speaking through them. And they made it very clear that I was supposed to come forward and not just keep this hidden or just for the people that are within, you know, arm's length. And that this was a gift that I was supposed to, you know, to uh, make available for you, the person who's watching this video at this point in time. So um, there, the, um, so basically, if you're interested in something like this, this is something that, uh, again, I can do for you. And um, I will probably put a limit to how many of these I will do, um, probably per week and per month, um, because I have a lot of other obligations that I have to tend to. But I do want to make this available. I want to be obedient to the call. And, um, and uh, we're going to kind of move forward with that. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you for tuning in, tapping in, turning on to Love and Money Secrets TV. This is Dame L Lillian Walker here, and I'm happy and excited to be able to make this available. It is um, March 14th, so we have 0314 are the numbers. I don't know if that is significant for you. It's also 7.44 p.m. where I am, Pacific Standard Time. Um, and the angels have been very interesting um, lately. They've been revealing a lot of really cool things. And um, there's been some really fun, awesome, um, I'm just going to say that there's really awesome manifestations that are starting to unfold, which I'm very excited about. So that's it. Um, thank you for tuning in, tapping in, turning on to Love and Money Secrets TV. And I look forward to connecting with you soon again. All right. As always, ciao for now, my friends and gems.